At Bright Healthcare, we think of our members as partners. One of the most important steps in building our partnership is ensuring you have a clear understanding of the options available to you. This short video will cover the basics of Medicare. First, you must be a U.S. citizen or a legal resident who's lived in the U.S. at least five years in a row. You must also be at least 65 years old or have certain disabilities or medical conditions to qualify. Today, we'll also be talking about the potential to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan, which has some additional requirements, such as the need to be enrolled in Medicare Parts A and B and live in the plan service area. There are four basic periods during which you can enroll in a Medicare plan. Initial enrollment is open the month you turn 65, plus the three months prior to and after your birthday month. Annual enrollment is open every year from October 15th through December 7th. There's also an open enrollment period during the first three months of each year when you can make adjustments to your Medicare Advantage plan or return to original Medicare. If life has changed recently, for instance, if you've retired from a job that provided company paid insurance, you might also qualify for a special enrollment period. Whether you're brand new to Medicare or have had some Medicare coverage for years, understanding the big picture and how all the pieces of this puzzle fit together can be confusing. There are two basic parts to original Medicare and three optional parts that help fill in the gaps. The two major building blocks of Medicare are commonly referred to as parts A and B. Part A is provided to you and paid for by the federal government in most circumstances. It focuses on coverage of hospital-related hospice and healthcare services. Meanwhile, Part B is also provided by the federal government, but requires a monthly premium for this coverage, which includes doctor's office visits as well as some other services. Put these two together and you have the foundation of original Medicare coverage. But parts A and B are just the beginning and don't cover everything, such as a 20% out of your pocket cost share or the prescription medications you might take. Medicare supplemental coverage, commonly referred to as the MedSup, is optional coverage you can buy through private insurance companies. These plans cover some of the gaps in parts A and B, including coinsurance, copays, and deductibles. Medicare Part D is also optional coverage you pay for yourself and focuses strictly on prescription medications. But neither the Medicare Supplement or Medicare Part D are the same as a Medicare Advantage plan. Medicare Advantage plans, commonly referred to as Part C, help cover everything original Medicare covers, plus some great extras. For instance, Parts A and B do not provide coverage for many things needed for whole body health, such as annual physical exams, routine vision, hearing, or dental services, or transportation to and from healthcare appointments. But many Medicare Advantage plans may include these benefits, plus extras like free fitness memberships and benefits for purchasing over-the-counter healthcare products. Some Medicare Advantage plans also include a Part D coverage to help with prescription medication costs, so there's no need to pay for a separate Part D plan. We hope you found this overview of Medicare, all of its various parts, and how they fit together helpful. For more insights on Medicare Advantage plans and one that might be best for you, please consult with your broker or visit us at brighthealthcare.com slash Medicare.